he confirmed that Tyree Smith killed the victim with blunt force trauma to the head and then ate part of the victim's eyeballs and brain. He was somebody's father, somebody's brother, somebody's best friend. So stay with News 12 Connecticut. We will have more from family and police in our report this evening. In Bridgeport, Sarah Hagan, News 12 Connecticut. Police officers in Lynn Haven, Florida, said that they arrested Smith a short time after he arrived by bus. And I also want to point out here, if you can look this way, coming up this Friday, there will be a memorial service held here. The family says there will be no wake and funeral, so come out here if you do want to pay your respects. The arrest warrant states that the suspect was visiting family in this area and that he told relatives that he went to Beardsley Park to, quote, get some blood on his hands. And with no luck there, he found his way back to this house, his old residence. Take a look now at this picture. This is the accused killer, 35 year old Tyree Smith. Documents show Smith took a bus to Lynn Haven, Florida, where he was later arrested. Police say Angel Gonzalez died from repeated blows to the head with an axe. Documents show the suspect later ate part of the victim's brain and an eyeball at a local cemetery. The victim's family and friends were out here today discussing the arrest and making arrangements to say goodbye to their dear friend, Toon Toon. This is where he chose to stay. This is where he chose to live. This is where he died. And this is where we're going to say goodbye. Lots of friends and even some family have stopped by showing their support. We want to mention there will be a memorial service held right here on this spot this Friday at 5 p.m. The family will not be having a wake or funeral. Tried to commit suicide inside a local CVS. That happened on January 12th, which, as we've reported, was just days before the victim's decomposing body was found. We're in the News 12 Connecticut live truck, and I want you to take a listen to what some neighbors said today about having an alleged murderer so close by. That is uncomfortable, and I have children. It's very uncomfortable. The suspect was picked up in Lynn Haven, Florida, where some people described him as, quote, Black Jesus. We'll have more on that in our report later this evening. Tom, you can see the crowd behind me. People turned out to pay their respects to 43-year-old Angel Gonzalez, also known as Toon Toon. You can see at this point, some people still at the memorial. Others have taken it to the street. The street is blocked off by police officers. There's music playing, a bit of a celebration for this man's life. Also today, we learned a little bit more from neighbors that knew the alleged killer. Police documents show 35-year-old Tyree Smith was staying with a relative on Seaview Avenue. He reportedly confessed all the details of a murder and cannibalism to that woman who later told the suspect's mother. That woman, police say, was the ultimate tip off to them. She reported those details. Neighbors said today they were shocked to learn an alleged killer was staying so close by in the same apartment house. I also want to point out that the suspect's family called me prior to our news report this evening and they did want to pass on their condolences to the victim's family and friends that are here. They said about the suspect that he is a cruel person, a vicious person. In Bridgeport, Sarah Hagan, News 12 Connecticut.